Next, it is my pleasure to introduce James Fenton, a poet, journalist, and literary critic, to share a poem written for this important occasion. It's called, Those Whom We Most Admire. Those whom we most admire, the lonely ones, the brave initiators of some exalted enterprise, how well they must know when the seasons turn adverse, the reproach in the eyes of their dejected supporters, the applause muted, the gaze averted, the army of stragglers making its way up the mountain, defeat inscribed on the brow. Lonely they are, then, those whom we most admire, standing at the cave mouth, counting the stragglers in, remembering how they asked us for help, asked us for sacrifice, and we gave them help, we made the sacrifice, and it all seems somehow to have come to nothing. How could they ever forget our reproaches our refusal even to look them in the eye. But we, the reproachful ones, we can forget. The seasons turn again and we can turn with them, coming out of the cave and see the mountainside afresh. And we can forget to keep up our reproachfulness. Reproach is easy. It is action that is difficult. Reproach is easy. It is leadership that is difficult. So when I hear my friends reproaching one of those whom we most admire, I ask myself if that reproach came easily. This disillusionment we seem to go in for, is it more than a mere bad habit of the affections, setting up heroes in the hope that they will betray us? It is right that we hold them to the highest standards, those whom we most admire. But we should hold ourselves to a certain standard too, not turn our, our admiration into a test that all are doomed sooner or later to fail. If all are doomed for to fail, that means the test is rigged. If the test is rigged, it was not admiration. It was not generous. It was not sincere. Thank you.